Superbase Storage is now compatible with S3. I'm going to show you how to generate some credentials from the Superbase dashboard and use the S3 CLI to read and write files. Let's get into it. So here I have a new Superbase project. Head over to database.new if you haven't got one of those yet. Then head over to project settings and then storage. And if we scroll down to the S3 credentials section, we want to create a new credential. The name of this one is going to be AWS CLI, but you can call yours whatever you'd like. Now let's create that credential and we see our access key ID and our secret access key. Which of the credentials we'll need to provide to the AWS CLI to interface with S3? Which reminds me, you'll need that AWS CLI installed. There's a link in the description to step through how to do just that. And now back over in the terminal, we can say AWS space S3 and then the command LS to list all of the files in that S3 directory. And that's gonna tell us that we're not allowed to do so because we have not yet provided those credentials. So like it suggests, let's run AWS configure. So let's clear this out and say AWS space configure. We can then copy our AWS access key ID from the Superbase dashboard. So that's this first value and paste it in here. It's then going to ask for our secret access key. So we can grab that from here and paste it in. It then wants our default region name, which it thinks is AP Southeast one. We can confirm that by going back to our Superbase dashboard and clicking done. And then we can see our region listed here, which is in fact AP Southeast number one. So back over in the terminal, we could either type that one out or just press enter to accept that default value. And then we'll leave our default output format as none. And if you're not super familiar with AWS, what that does is write these credentials credentials to a special credentials file, which we can open up with Nano. Sorry, I tried Vim, but I couldn't work out how to close it and had to restart my computer. And that file is at tilde or our home directory slash dot AWS slash credentials. And we can see it's created a new default profile and added those keys. So let's do control X to get out of this one. And now when we run that same AWS S3 LS command and specify our endpoint dash URL to equal the one from our Superbase dashboard. So under S3 connection, that's this endpoint. So let's copy that, paste it into our command. And now when we run that command, we get nothing, but nothing is better than an error. So at least we're making progress and it actually is working. We just don't have any files in this directory. So let's create a new folder to store our memes. So we can reuse the majority of our last command, but then rather than LS for list, we want to make a bucket. And the name of this one is going to be S3 colon slash slash, and then the name of our bucket or our folder, which is going to be memes. Now, if we run that to create our bucket and we can see that's been successful, we can also rerun our LS command to see our memes folder is definitely there. And if we go back over to the Superbase dashboard and go over to storage, we can see our memes bucket, but it's currently empty. So let's add some memes. So back over in the terminal, we can clear this out and then use the regular ls command to list out the files in the current directory running locally on my machine. So we can see all those very well organized meme names there. And if we clear this out, we can copy an individual file with all that AWS stuff. And then rather than ls, we can do cp for copy and then specify one of our files. So I can say dot slash, so the current directory I'm navigated to and then the name of one of the files. So let's go with image.png, nice simple one. We then need the bucket that we want to put that into. So that's s3 colon slash slash memes. And when we run this command, we see it successfully uploaded our image.png file to our s3 memes bucket. And we can use our ls command and specify the particular bucket that we want to look within. So that's s3 colon slash slash memes. And we can see image.png is definitely in that memes bucket in s3. We can also confirm in the Superbase dashboard by reloading this memes bucket. And we can see image.png is there. And we can see a preview of that excellent meme showing that dog's been caught out. So we could manually copy every single file into that bucket, but at Superbase, we have a lot of memes. So we can use the sync command and give it our current directory. And this will take a little bit of time to upload each of those totally sick memes. And now if we clear that out, we can run our ls command to confirm all of our memes have been uploaded to S3. And again, confirm in the Superbase dashboard by reloading. We can see each one of our memes has been uploaded to S3 and as an additional benefit is now backed up in case anything tragic was to happen to my precious memes folder. And this works with anything that can speak that S3 protocol, like R clone, CyberDuck, or DuckDB. Check out the blog linked in the description for some more specific examples. But now that these files are in Superbase storage, you can do all of the awesome Superbase storage-y things like resizing images. But for that, you need to check out this video right here. 
It goes through the different image transformation options that you can do on the fly when viewing an image from Superbase Storage. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.